holographic nails that I'm really into and I'm definitely going through a really big short nail phase of my life. I'm getting natural short nails and they're just the best. This fingertip access is everything. I didn't know what I was missing out on. Now I have to get to work and I don't know why. Maybe because I'm also on my period. I feel like my energy has been kind of low this week. I feel kind of overwhelmed. I feel like there's so many platforms now, you know? I feel like I was native to Instagram, so it's kind of my bread and butter. I try to post there every day. And then there's stories, and I feel like now there's, you know, YouTube, which I love. And then there's TikTok. Now TikTok has stories. And then also, you know, trying to work on, you know, building my own business and different dreams. And I just feel like it's a lot. And I feel like I'm kind of like, we're working and I kind of was thinking that I want to take a little break. I want to travel. I have the itch to travel. I think the last time I went on like a big trip was August of last year, which we're kind of coming up on as for one of my best friend's weddings. And I was a bridesmaid. It was so beautiful. So we've been, we did like, we did Tuscany, we did Lake Como. Uh, we did, I call y'all Amalfi Coast, Ravello. And it was so beautiful. And now I'm like, hmm, I kind of want to go to like Paris or something. I really want to travel, but I'm torn between like, do I just really just bang it out right now, put my head down and like work, work, work and vacation later? Or do I just take a little refresh break? But also, you know, Kellen is also about to launch a business, so he's so busy. So that's where we are today. Right now it's 1.30, so I will lock into work now that I'm, I'm back home, so I will lock in. That's it. Let's get going. I had to come outside into the sunlight to show you guys if my camera agrees to focus. Obsessed. We just got these new outdoor chairs and we are waiting for our outdoor table to come, doing a little outdoor revamp. So they actually delivered it. Turned out I ordered the coffee table, returned that. So we are on standby waiting for the actual dining table to come. Love these chairs. We got these from West Elm. Chase lounges, we got them from West Elm. And I feel like we're starting to create a vibe out here. And for people that are new to my channel, I feel like I haven't done like a home thing in a while, but basically let's give you a little backyard update. So we built this entire deck out added that fireplace this is our little barbecue area and then we also built this out too and we picked that like a beautiful beautiful granite and then we're just waiting for this table to come in i feel like right now there's nothing on the floor but we're contemplating maybe doing like a outdoor carpet situation or something this waterfall is always going and i think it's so peaceful like i love the sound i hear it when i meditate in the morning and when i stretch so let me explain what happened over here. So over here we have this set of black furniture because essentially I did the entire house when it came to furnishing and Kellen was like, I really want to do the outdoors black. So we got this black furniture. We live in the valley and it gets so hot out here. So first of all, they didn't even look good, but we tried and it gets so hot that you can't even sit on them. I just juiced and after I juiced, I just sift it out and put it in here. And then I keep these old air wand bottles so I could refill them. And then also, I just got this, which is CMOS gel. Literally, TikTok made me buy it. It has a bunch of great benefits, which I will list for you guys. I actually tried a little spoonful. It tastes kind of like a turmeric jelly. So I'm just gonna put it, I think, just like a spoonful into this juice. I just put little spoonfuls of it on the bottom. The consistency is literally like jelly. my hairstylist told me about and they like are really easy to use it obviously doesn't match my hair color so i probably would just wash it oh will is curious i'll probably wash it out with um blue shampoo or purple shampoo but look we're gonna do a demo gorgeous that's her color gorgeous yeah of course it's gorgeous i'm gorgeous you know my dad was called gorgeous george oh yeah your dad was very handsome oh my god why is this so cute to me here she comes. There's my angel girl. 
Oh, nope, she's, guess she's stuck. It's the weekend. We ordered from Crossroads, which is a really delicious vegan spot in West Hollywood, and they apparently deliver to Sherman Oaks now. Usually we would transfer it onto plates, but this is the vibe for today. We are finally watching Batman. I honestly just want to watch it because Zoe is in this. Wow, this food looks so delicious. So we got a spicy vodka pasta with bread and feta. These are called impossible cigars and they're so delicious. I don't really know quite what's in it. Kale salad. And then these are truffle potatoes, which are so heavenly. It's the weekend. Hi guys, we're back at the derm office today doing my keloid shot for my ear. They've actually healed really well. I don't know if this angle is showing it. I want to ask if I have to get keloid shots because I feel like they might not come back or maybe that's just wishful thinking. Here's the one on my chest. I feel like TBH, the keloid shot, made it a little darker. I honestly feel like I forgot what it looked like at this point. So I'm torn whether I should continue doing this, but we shall see. <gasps> oh Ooh, no. So oh my God, his AirPods fell on the floor. Ugh. Whenever I get my eyelashes done, on occasion, I will go to 85 degrees and get coffee and bread. And I feel like usually when I go, I go in the morning, meaning I haven't had anything to eat. So I get so much bread and Kel doesn't eat any of it. I think today I got like seven breads. Luckily my assistant took two, but now um, on the way to my appointment, I bought two breads in the car. I don't know what I'm thinking. I probably will take a bite of all of them. Just went to Erewhon on the way back from the dermatologist after my keto appointment. Cause I feel like it's my little reward for doing those shots. This is what I got for dinner. Buffalo cauliflower at Air One is amazing. Usually I get salmon, but I got the sea bass, mixed it up, and a citrus salad. So Kellen is still working right now, so I will be eating solo dolo. And whenever I eat by myself, I feel like I teeter between sometimes just eating in silence, really enjoying my food, either scrolling through TikTok or a third one is watching something on my laptop. And there's just something about watching, I don't know, like TV on my laptop that I really love. Like when I lived in downtown by myself for, I think it was like two and a half years. For the first like year and a half, I didn't have a TV because I just, first of all, didn't watch that much and it didn't like match with the vibe of my apartment. I was like, where would a TV go? It's just like a big black screen. So anyways, I would watch TV on my laptop um, and I love it and I still love it. There's something about it. And I usually am not one for reality TV unless it's like Food Network and like a cooking show or Shark Tank, but there's something about the Kardashians. Like I love them. Like if it is on TV, if I'm like scrolling through and they're on TV, I'll watch it, but they have their new season or their new show on Hulu. So I might just hop on over to Hulu and watch some Kardashians right now, you know? Oh my God, this is so spicy. I am back to drinking my hanyak. I feel like I literally drank it for like two days in a row and then stopped. So I have so much left. I have an entire batch left here and then another batch at my parents' house. So now that I drank this, I think I figured out a way. I was telling Kellen, it's breath work. Orange on deck. Before I would breathe in through my nose, but that's how we taste things. So now I won't breathe through my nose, only breathe through my mouth and then breathe out. It is still like, it lingers, but. I just got these Billy shaving products. Well, actually Kellen got them for me because my previous shaver, I don't know what happened, but the last time I shaved with it, it totally irritated my skin. And I got like all these razor bumps, which I've never gotten before. It just made my skin break out and like hide. So it was very, very odd. So I'm really excited to try this because I've been seeing it everywhere. And I feel like this is a good alternative to the one I'm using now. I brought back the long nails. Okay. We just love it. She did make it a little too like cat claw sharp. So I might unfile them down a little bit, but I love it. it. Just elongates the hand and I feel like this nude color, this is OPI, put it in neutral. And I just feel like it's just 
I've also gotten a few questions as to which tanning products I use, and I use this one from Loving Tan. It's not clean because it does have dye in it, but the thing is, I love this color and it wears really long and I feel like it doesn't look so orange or anything. It just looks like you laid out in the sun. There's two colors. There's dark and ultra dark. I alternate between the two. And then I have this one from Tenologist, which I feel like experience wise, I like this one better because it smells better and as you can see it's clear so when you put it on i feel like it's a lot easier to use because it doesn't feel like streaky you don't have to blend it in so aggressively as this one okay hold up i just got this one and this is tenologist as well and this is dark and this one is ultra dark. So maybe we'll try this one today. Usually I feel like if I have a trip coming up or an event that I wanna be specifically tan for, then I feel like my go-to is Loving Tan because the color always comes out really, really dark and I haven't just been using them for so long, but I don't really have anything in particular. So I'm gonna try this and see what it looks like. And these are the two mitts that it comes with. This is the one from Tenologist. I I personally prefer the one from Loving Tan. It's just all black and it's just mitts on both sides. Whereas this one, it's like, this one also has hyaluronic acid. So it does have some hydrating benefits too. So I both have their pros and cons, but I'm gonna try this one today. You hey guys, I just got out of the shower, tried the Billy Razor for the first time and I can confirm it is superior. I literally just got such a close and smooth and clean shave, especially down under. I'm really excited I finally tried that razor. Um, I'm definitely throwing out my other one. I mean, I can see why it's so popular though, because again, I bet the shave was so close. I feel very smooth and soft everywhere. No irritation at all. Okay, so now we are going to tan. I mean, this lighting in my restroom, I don't know what is up with the coloring. Okay, so I guess being backlit is better. This is my color right now, and I'm gonna tan using this Tanologist. And what I like to do is, you can obviously just get butt naked and tan everywhere, but I've been doing this new thing recently where like, I wear like a really tiny like thong or g-string, and then I tan over it. So it looks like I have like cute little tan lines. Um, so that's what I've been doing. Okay, so I just did the tanner, and again, I just like to leave a little underwear, a little thong action on because once you tan over it, it really looks like it's a real tan, like you've got a bikini tan. So this is what the color looks like. You can see the cutoff on my arm. This one feels a lot more natural than the Loving Tan one because that one, the moment you put it on, you wear dark, dark, dark. And then obviously once you shower, it comes off a little. This Tenologist one, I feel like I don't look that dark, but this one has more of an olive undertone. So if you're looking for that, really natural tan i say this is the one if you're looking for like damn that girl's tan i would say loving tan so i'm just gonna let this develop and then i'll probably wash it off just right before i go to bed it's like a little bit sticky but not too bad and then for my nails especially because i have new nails on i make sure to just put lotion on them so the dye doesn't take and then also on the palms of my hands or any other dry areas you have, just make sure to put lotion on it. And then afterwards, also when I'm done, I'll just get a baby wipe and just wipe down each fingernail so they just stay nice and clean. Good morning, friends. I just got my eyelashes done. It is 9.39. My appointment was really early at 8 a.m. So essentially, I got here, took another nap. Usually my lashes take, I think, anywhere between. Actually, today was pretty fast. It was just like, I think an hour 30. Sometimes it takes, takes up to two. And I just fall into the best, deepest nap. It's like paying for adult naps. My eyelashes look amazing. And then now I'm gonna go home. I feel like I have a pretty packed day today. I'm gonna go home, walk Willow, and then I have a dentist appointment, and then I'm meeting up with one of my best friends, Judith, for like just coffee, and then I have two events afterwards. So we are gonna go, go, go today. Whoa, our neighbors are so kind. 
follow your heart which is an incredible non-dairy vegan products and we actually tried one of their vegan mayonnaises 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 before and then we had mentioned we liked it and she's like oh my god we worked there and she dropped off all this stuff and this is so generous i am so excited to try like these are literally all vegan cheeses and salad dressings and mayonnaises mayonnaises Happy Friday. Right now, I am just leaving the Meta, formerly known as Facebook Instagram office. So today we had a little rare global field trip and that is the agency that I'm signed with that are just run by absolute female bosses. So this is so cool. So I feel like this is like a hub. There's a lot of corporates here. There's just like, there's Honest Company. I think they said YouTube was somewhere here. But anyways, basically they taught us the new upgrades with Instagram and now it has, it has shoppable affiliate links. If you're a creator, you can create your own storefront where you put like all the links together instead of just linking things on your stories and putting in your highlights like a little storefront so it's so so cool okay and it is 3 14 right now and i am so glad it is the weekend i feel like i am fully recovered from coachella now weekend two coachella is just starting up i am so happy i'm back let's see i think i'm just gonna go home today maybe i'll work maybe i won't but i'm really glad it's the weekend but it was so peaceful over here it's like really beautiful like like parks and nature it feels like it's its own little community I'll show you guys well this is just from outside my car window here but it is really quite beautiful here and the weather is so nice really windy today but it was so amazing just like being with all my rare global fam because I feel like we're all starting to see each other now because we are all slowly starting to come out of the pandemic There she goes. Oh, a day at the button. beach. Just a <laughs> Wait, I need to have my sunglasses on. Oh, <laughs> Ray on the beach. <laughs> so Ray at Instagram and the Meta office, and they gave us this entire box of goodies. And the reason why is basically Instagram has shoppable links now and an affiliate program so all these products i mean if you're a creator you can upload and link and if you're part of the community or you're just shopping you can shop it directly i feel like i'm obsessed with this feature but it's also so dangerous because they made it so easy to shop and check out so be aware everybody finally got some pat mcgrath lab products can you believe i've never tried it people were so shook i've been seeing them everywhere so really excited to finally start trying them love glow recipe my pores have been needing some love so i'm excited to use this hi pretty girl Thank you. 